In front of me, I have the Galaxy S20 running the brand new Android uh, 11 and One UI 3.0. And over here on the left, I've got an S20 FE running the previous generation One UI 2.5. So the One UI 3.0 update is rolling out now to the public. I just got mine a couple of days ago and I've been using it and trying to find all the differences I could. So before I get started, I do wanna say I did run benchmarks before and after uh, the update. So on the S20, on One UI 2.5 for Antutu, I got 580,151. And for Geekbench, I got a single core of 919 and a multi-core of 3252. Uh, on One UI 3, I got an Antutu score of 574992, so 574,000. And on Geekbench, I got 892 and 2977. So a little bit of a hit in performance there after the update. I didn't really notice anything in the real world, but you know, just wanted to run those to be sure. So let's get started with the changes. And right off the bat, we'll start with the lock screen. So the lock screen has new clock styles, as you guys can see right here. There are brand new clock styles. There are a bunch of new clock styles, which I can show you. So as you guys can see, there are a few options here. All of them seem to be similar to the older ones. They just have a little bit of an updated font to them. And they look a lot sleeker. Even though it's not that big of a change, they definitely look a lot sleeker. Number two, we now have new always on display styles as well. So again, similar trend to the clock on the lock screen, same stuff, but slightly different fonts. And things just look a little bit more polished and neat. But a new option is having GIFs on your always on display. So if I have this set, and I lock my screen, you guys will be able to see that there's a cute little monkey there on my computer. I don't even know if that's a monkey or not. That's some cute little animal on a branch on my always on display. The GIF plays for about, I'd say 15 or 20 seconds and then it stops. Another cool thing is that the animations have changed for the lock screen. So uh, I'm gonna lock both of them and you guys will be able to see that the lock screen animations have kind of changed. Oh, in fact, that's not true because it only changes on a more traditional clock style. So if it has the GIF, that won't work. So let me go ahead and choose a more traditional lock style. So when I do that, go ahead and hit lock. You guys will see uh, this is the lock screen. And then when I hit on, it actually moves forward. So the display doesn't like completely shut off and turn on. So you guys will see here again, let me do it. You guys can see the display here completely turns off and turns back on, whereas this, it just kind of smoothly moves into that always on display position. Number five, we have a new fingerprint uh, logo right here. It's a little bit more uh, flat, unique, just a little bit more improved. Nothing that big of a deal, but it is a change. And then another thing I noticed on the lock screen is there is a new numpad. So if you wanted to hit the passcode on this, this is what it looked like before. Here's what it looks like now. Definitely a little bit more iPhone-esque uh, numpad there. So now that we've covered the lock screen, let's move on to the home screen, where number seven is when you hold down apps, you get a new press down menu. Things here are a lot neater. They are a lot more larger. So you guys can see these quick suggestions, the new tab, new incognito tab, just a little bit bigger, a little bit larger text and on the top instead of the bottom. And now you can also directly go to this app's widgets from here. So if you wanna enable widgets for this particular app, uh, it's a lot easier than having to actually go to the widgets menu, scroll through it and find each and every widget. That's a big change. Number eight, a big, big change, new volume control. So you guys can see volume controls have changed. They are now on the side right here compared to the top of One UI 2.5. So you can see right there, comparatively what they look like, a big, big change. And I am very glad they made it. Number nine on the home screen, you guys can see that when you open an app, a, a app folder now, that the layout has gone for, from four apps per row to three apps per row. It looks a little bit cleaner, neater, a little bit more spaced out. I'm not sure which one I prefer, but I do know that this just feels a little bit more organized than this. It seems cluttered to me, but I think this is something that either or just like really depends on your personal taste. So moving on to the multitasking screen, you guys can see things are just a little bit less transparent now on here. You guys can see the uh, wallpaper 
a lot better on this one than you can over here. It just is a lot less, uh, you know, the, the theme here is things are a little bit less transparent, they're more opaque throughout. This search finder right up here, before you just got a suggestion of apps, uh, now on One UI 3.0 there are suggested settings and suggested uh, apps down here. So there's a couple more things added to this finder screen. And moving on to the app drawer, things are a little bit, uh, similarly they're just a little bit less transparent uh, comparatively to the One UI 2.5. And number 11, same thing, the finder here also gets those same uh, extensions, those uh, more search options like the multitasking screen did as well. So moving on to a place where there are a bunch of changes is control center. So immediately when you pull down control center, you will see that things look a lot different. So uh, number one, the clock position has changed. It has come down and it's centered a little bit. Uh, these row of icons, search, power settings, and the uh, additional settings have moved to the top, which is a little bit more, uh, it makes more sense I think over here. The media and devices has moved to the top compared to it being all the way on the bottom. Uh, right over here and you guys can see all the toggles have been lowered and they've kind of been squished together more and been spread out th through more pages just to make things a little bit more reachable if you're doing this one-handed this is a fantastic addition and from the control center let's move on to notifications where you guys will see there is a lot more organization on the notifications uh, comparatively you've got conversations here so uh, it does group conversation text messages here and just doesn't throw things in randomly. Uh, again, you guys can see uh, alerting notifications. It has a different one here, silent notifications here compared to this, which is just like a bunch of notifications that are not sorted in any way. It's very frustrating. I didn't like this about One UI at all. This is a big step up and really makes things a lot more comfortable. And I, I've shown this before, but there are now uh, conversation uh, conversations that are spread out and you can actually uh, use chat bubbles depending on the app you're using uh, but this is a fantastic feature as well you can quick reply right from there all the same stuff moving on to number 20 the gallery app has now had a small refresh and just looks a little bit more streamlined so on one UI 2.5 there was this uh, row of videos favorites recent and suggested uh, uh, icons up here that has all been removed there's nothing up there uh, all of this has been now moved down to menu right here where i think it's a little bit more apt and the pictures row this stays the same but you do uh, get that uh, instead of the shared button you get this button with all the other uh, features and settings and it just looks a little bit better the the date text has gotten a little bit smaller i do prefer this you know just the more highlighted date compared to this but it is what it is you can't do much so another new feature we have in the phone settings app is, if you guys know, if you ever use a Samsung phone, there is a uh, caller video, kind of, kind of this call background that goes on whenever you're on a call. It's just this little uh, animation of colors that keeps moving. And now you can actually change this. So you can change from a um, any photo or video in your gallery. You can just choose whatever you want. Um, there is just this one standard one, but you can film your own, find a nicer one, whatever you want to do. And another thing you can do is you can change the layout. So this is what the layout used to look like. You can now toggle this to look different. So it'll look like this. So you have the name, the photo, and the phone number just really small. Or you can have it where everything is just a little bit bigger, the name, the phone number, and then the photo. Uh, really depends on your look. And I like that they give you more options here. And finally, just a few more changes I spotted in the settings app. So right off the bat, settings, one big change is that uh, the one UI kind of your account login, instead of this little uh, bubble right here, it's now an entire row right here. It's not bad. I do wish it wasn't as prominent, really doesn't need to be, but it is what it is. That's what every other company has done at this point. The icons and layout has definitely changed a little bit. They are the same, you know, the connection sounds, those are the same, but uh, these just it, this has a little bit of a cleaner look the icons right here are um, in a deeper color They're not just uh, playing over here like this and then there's connections and then the uh, the quick like Description of this is a lot better not as uh, crazy cramped as this one It just gives you quick neat notification like uh, quick uh, peaks here that way you can toggle with each uh, setting sub setting so that's a nice touch it definitely looks a lot more organized and laid out compared to One UI 2.5. So if your phone has something 
called Video Enhancer. Not every phone has it. The S20 FE does not. Uh, the, the, as I see when I search for the setting, there is no Video Enhancer setting. Enhance. No Video Enhancer setting. So the phones that do have Video Enhancer setting, now you can actually control every single app. So say you want Video Enhancer on, on your stock video player, but you don't want to turn on on YouTube or HBO Max or Hulu or Netflix, whatever you do, you can just turn it off uh, for those certain apps instead of having to turn the entire feature off, whereas you, which you might find useful in certain apps, but not in other apps. So that's a nice little change I saw. And I think that's just you know giving you a little bit more control over things. And finally, one more feature that I saw that was a little bit uh, changed up in the settings is when you go into advanced detail about the Wi-Fi network you're connected in, uh, things are just a little bit, you know, the layout is a lot neater, the name, the way things look, just everything is a little bit more laid out. The advanced uh, options, all everything just um, has a little bit more of a polished finish to it. So One UI 3.0, these are the settings I've been able to find so far. I'm sure there's a bunch more that you guys have been able to find. So if you know of any more, feel free to comment them down below so everyone else can see and even I can see what I missed. And One UI 3.0 so far has been quite stable for me. No issues, no crashes, and battery life hasn't had a big hit either. So if you're on the S20 lineup and looking to upgrade, I think this is a safe upgrade for the time being. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, as I said, feel free to ask down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen and of course, links to them down in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.